Even after completing Spider-Man 2, I keep running into cool things I wish I knew earlier. From ways to speedrun late game activities to major changes you can make to web swinging, we've got a lot to go over, starting with an attack that would have been useful during my first playthrough. I guess that's on me for not remembering it, because some moves from the previous Spidey games are still in your arsenal. I had absolutely forgotten about the ground strike move until DAPs in our comments reminded me. This move is available right from the start. You can also find it in your moves list in the menu and it is performed by pressing square and X at the same time while airborne. You need to get some decent height first, like it won't trigger after a normal jump, but a charge jump will do the trick. In fact, the higher you are when you perform this attack, the more powerful it becomes. As you can see here, triggering it when you are not that high up will only push enemies back, while performing a ground pound at the apex of your jump will actually blast them away and on the ground. So definitely a powerful option if you get surrounded. And that's not the only move the game doesn't mention. Asef in our comments noted that if you press square while throwing a webbed up target, you will directly throw it at an enemy you are aiming at. They also note this works with objects, but after testing it myself, I can only get this faster throw to trigger when I'm tossing a webbed up enemy. But instead of doing the whole animation and swinging around your target twice, you immediately toss whatever enemy you grabbed at the one you are currently targeting. This only works when you have an enemy target it in my experience, but it's very useful to throw webbed up enemies quicker and skip the lengthy animation that can leave you vulnerable. You do of course need the web throw skill from the shared skill tree, but that's a pretty early unlock, so high chance you already have it. Another thing I wish I knew earlier is that there are more heroes than just Miles that can show up to help you out during crimes. You probably already know about Wraith, who starts appearing after you complete the first flame side quest, but one of your potential helpers is only temporarily available and there is a high chance you missed him. Because after Harry reveals his symbiote powers and armor to you during the main mission Hunt to Live, Live to Hunt, there is actually a chance that you run into him while out crime fighting. This can happen when playing as both Peter and Miles, and yes, Harry has unique interactions with them as well at the end of a crime where you do finger guns and listen to this fun dialogue between him and Miles. We should figure out a team name. Pete didn't mention Spider Pals? And the awesome double finishers that trigger during that mission can also trigger here. This even works with Miles, although he has the same combo finishers that trigger between Harry and Peter. Still pretty awesome, as this is the only opportunity for Miles and Harry to fight side by side. And even Harry and Peter only fight together once during main missions. If you want to keep doing this, however, you have to make a save before you complete the mission Good Men, because this is when Harry loses the symbiote to Peter, so obviously he can't show up to help after. And we have more tricks you likely didn't know yet, so if you enjoyed the video so far be sure to leave a like and subscribe to not miss out on future spider-man videos and i don't know about you but i really wish i checked how to optimize my settings for web swinging much sooner maybe you already aware that under the gameplay settings there is a list of swing assist options that you can tweak to your personal preference the most impactful change can be found at the top of the list which is swing steering assistance by default this setting is turned to the max which means the game has assist running in the background to make web swinging as easy as possible. If you turn it all the way down to zero, however, all the assists will be turned off, which completely changes the feel of web swinging. The first major thing you'll notice is that you'll hit the ground a lot more if you're swinging low to the ground. With assists on, there is a sort of web swing floor, which means that as long as you press R2 before you actually hit the ground, the game will adjust your swing arc so that you'll never touch anything. But without the assists, you have to keep the trajectory of your swing in mind, as even a swing that starts from decent height can still hit the ground mid-arc. While it definitely takes some time getting used to, removing the assist makes swinging feel much more realistic as you actually have to pay attention to keep your momentum. I don't know how much of that comes across in the footage, so I highly recommend you give it a try for yourself. Next to the removal of a swing floor, you'll also notice that it's a bit more difficult to travel in a straight line. That is because the game normally evens out your trajectory when swinging, but again, with Without the assist, things are different here. If you don't press any buttons while swinging, you are automatically pulled towards the building your web is attached to. But you can still adjust trajectory mid-swing, so that just means you need to put in some effort to keep Miles and Peter on track. Again, take some time getting used to, but I really like how much more involved swinging around New York is. It also makes you appreciate the web wings that much more, as they do allow for fast traversal in a straight line. And it's also worth keeping in mind that there are options 
options between all assists and no assists at all, as you can change the value of the assist from 0 to 10, so you can fine tune just how realistic you want your swinging to be. From this same section of settings, you can also turn on fall damage to add some real danger to web swinging. It will still take a big fall to outright kill you, but performing a standing charge jump at max height will already take about 5 hit points when you land. So that is about the height fall damage starts triggering, and then of course the higher the building, the higher the damage. It's not just a straight fall either, as crashing into the ground at too high a speed because your web swing assist is turned off will also cause damage. So use these settings to make web swinging feel more or less realistic, depending on your personal preference. And if you'd rather make things really easy on yourself, did you know there is a way to complete the symbiote nest activity super quickly, provided you have access to at least one venom suit, which means the black suit, symbiote suit, and the classic black suit. That also means this tactic is only doable with Peter, as he is the only one that has access to venom suits, which by the way also trigger the black webbing when you swing around New York. So when playing as him, switch to a venom suit during the activity to instantly reduce the timer of the sonic bomb you have to defend to zero and get all the XP and hero tokens, which is pretty wild. I think we can agree that this has to be a bug, so I expect that it will be patched out in a future update. So on one hand, if you want to use it, you probably have to do it fast, but on the other hand, you will be skipping content when the game can already be completed pretty quickly and there is currently no option to replay missions or activities. But yeah, thanks to Bing Bong on Reddit and Green Age in our comments for letting us know about this and we'll of course keep you posted if Insomniac makes any changes to this trick. I also wanted to share a quick update on one of our previous videos because I made a mistake regarding the continuous dodge setting in our secret tricks video. We'll link to it in the video description but the basic idea is that with the setting on you can keep dodging if you just hold circle. So I thought, great idea, why would you want to turn that off? Well, turns out it impacts another move that's also performed by holding circle, which is the corner tether. You can find it in the share tree and it allows you to quickly sling around corners by holding circle and the left stick in the direction of a building. So a useful move for quick turns, but as Restyle noted in our comments, if you also have continuous dodge active, it kind of messes with corner tether. So much so that it's hardly even worth to use the move. So I stand corrected, continuous dodge is great in combat, but if you have it on, maybe turn it off while swinging around New York. And while doing that, why not try out some of the awesome aerial poses that you can do in photo mode. You can of course pose Spidey on the ground as well by pressing square to go into character mode and then turning posing on. But what I wish I knew earlier is that while in the air, you have a completely new set of poses available. There's a total of 20 on each Spider-Man because yes, Miles and Peter have a different selection and they range from badass to very charming. And if you take a nice picture with one of these poses or any other photo mode shots you're proud of, consider dropping them in the Spider-Man Pictures channel in our Discord. Link to it will be in the pinned comment and your shot could get featured in our next video as we highlight some amazing community pictures at the end of each video. I'm going to pass it to Joyce, our resident photo mode expert for that, so Joyce, take it away. Hey, what's up everyone? Let's start with ICXRIX who created this iconic shot of Miles doing the leap of faith, well known from the Spider-Verse movie. Excellent use of the setting. Moving on to Uncle Trap, who was very creative and used a web line to take this shot of Miles chilling while looking at a stunning overview of the city. Gonna try this trick too, for sure. And my favorite of the bunch is another recreation of a legendary shot from Cryptek, who used a webbed black suit. If you know the Spider-Man 3 movie, you know which one I'm talking about. Love the lighting of the buildings in the back as well great picture. Thanks for the showcase, Joyce. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to not miss the next one, and click the video on screen for more tricks you likely don't know about. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.